Uh, all right, man. Welcome back, y'all. All right, um, this one's gonna be a quick one, but I noticed that we get a lot of good stuff in this game as far as things to help us, aid us in battle, because um, it's a very team-oriented game. And since I'm a healer, you know, a healer main, I really like the heal stuff that we get on the heal side. So, um, such as, like, they tend to give us a lot of things, such as pills. Um, you already know how we do with the pills. Uh, different sorts of colors of pills and stuff. Um, we also get medical spray, which is cool. I haven't got it yet. I, I wasn't that lucky. <laughs> yeah, shout out to my boy Accent. He had an excellent video with the spray. If you're interested, check that out. But um, like I said, we get a lot of stuff. Pills. We get heal tags. Um, we have certain ninjutsu to heal you. Um, even clothes. We have certain clothes that heal you. Um, and, and this, but in, even in the show, there are wild and conventional ways to heal your friends and allies. You know what I mean? So, like, you know, remember Karen's bite on for Sasuke, like that weird stuff. Um, but they're one of the weirdest conventional ways I see on the show, which was also very cool, was the, a chick named Amino. Now she was a, a Konoichi from the Sand Village, right? And she did the praying mantis hands. Um, I did a video on her a while back. If you're interested in that, check that out. Um, but yeah, she used a technique that I felt was very cool, right? It was called Medical Water Release Jellyfish. Now, jellyfish, you know, you already know what jellyfish are. Those little sea creatures and stuff that sting you, right? <laughs> and um, I feel like this could be added to the game, and this will be perfect for the game. The jellyfish is what I'm talking about is a water release jutsu, okay? By placing it on someone in advance, it can store, you know, and spread chakra throughout the body. For a quick recovery and it can heal injuries and this technique drains the jellyfish because the jellyfish once it's done it completely goes away it falls off and boom it's over so that can work out perfect for this game guys but i feel like this could be in the game now i know this is like oh this is a niche episode this is not really this is filler or whatever but still this could be very good and applied very well in this game it would just work just how any other you know these ninja tools work and these healer things work for us you just apply it to the person and it will heal you over time you know probably like maybe five six seconds and then it drops off it could work just like that the mechanics and everything the aesthetics it will just cling to your body it doesn't necessarily have to be your chest could be your head or anything anywhere it clings to but that, that i really would want this in the game i feel like this would be really cool and another way for us to heal instead of using sprays and other conventional things that we have but I, I really want this jellyfish jutsu man even if it's not a ninja tool maybe a jutsu but even if it's not a regular jutsu in the game i really want it as a ninja tool or you know something to aid us you know that could really help us out in battle it could be really quick even if the healing's a shorter span but this this is what I really want in this game. There was very unique stuff. She was a very unique uh, medical specialist. You know what I mean? She <laughs> she was very unique, and that to me was a very unique jutsu. I have not seen it any in, in the other like Boruto or anywhere else. I just only seen it in that one episode. So I really would want this. Let me guys let me know what you guys think about this jutsu, and if this is a jutsu you might want in uh, Shinobi Striker. I feel like it could be great for Ten Ten Shop a nice reward for us or something but yeah i really want medical water release jutsu or jellyfish jutsu so yeah put those fires in the chat put those feelings in the chat put those thoughts in the chat put those blessings in the chat